sorry, I cut off talking Pandorica, whether or not they're robber proof or not is, you know, in the rules and then take a dev card later. So you do eventually end up winning, but you do spend a lot of time stuck in the Pandorica and able to do anything but heal. So there you go. All right. Anyway, that's its whole thing. So I've got all these little velvet bags, but I also do these beautiful tins that I paint. Custom paint, zombie apocalypse, you can store zombies in here or your other bits. It holds these wonderful 2 by 2 cards that I make these little tiny tiles. I call them like player guide tiles often or advantage token tiles. All this kind of stuff can go in your tins. So zombie apocalypse, got amethyst caverns, and then here's the piece of resistance for my accessibility needs. I really do have to have, I'm going to do this. A place to show myself, wait, do I have a weed port? Do I have fishing that I'm trading at a four to one or three to one? How many amethysts do I trade? I just keep it all in my little tin. I also put VP chits in there. Um, these are for something else somewhere around here. I didn't get it out right now. I have a little miniature version of wheat or brick, wood, and sheep, and they're gorgeous, and they go in here. Same with amethyst, same with gold, same with fish, same with everything. The fish look kind of like this. They're really cute. I have them for all the different commodities. But I on them I paint the numbers. So if you win extra VPs at a pride um, themed add-on, you put that in your tin. This is something really cute. These are amazing. So this is sold as a crate, right? It's a little hand-done crate token for modding games. It's amazing. One of the other Etsy sellers makes this. You can buy this in my game for two wood and it's a pile of heat treated pallet wood. It's like picking up pallets at Home Depot, but those aren't usually the heat treated safe kind. So it's like sourcing your pallets and then you place it next to a settlement or city or whatever. And then when you invest the next round of resources, which would be stuff for the soil mix you have, you have a little tiny raised bed garden. It's like an upcycled pallet raised bed garden for urban gardening. I love it. This is one of the sustainable agriculture um, add-ons I make, and I just call them pallet gardens. So you buy your pallets and you invest and you make a beautiful garden. So each of these has a little cute tiny garden planted on them. And they're so cute and they're the right kind of size and shape for me to pick them up and flip them over. So that works with my dexterity needs really well. One of the sustainable agriculture add-ons. I'll show you the rest of those another time. These are for upcoming, I've got ladybugs and strawberries and strawberry leaves. These are for another time. And little ladybugs. Pollination Station, the Apiary, um, Co-op, Farmer's Market, a couple other um, situations and add-ons I'm making will use these. I'm excited. A little education about ladybugs and pollinator gardens and the importance of leaving wildflowers wild. Um, yeah, I taught biology for a while. I focused on botany when I was in college. I always struggled with my learning disabilities and uh, learning needs and being autistic and stuff, but I love this stuff. Sustainable agriculture is my jam. These are some in progress. Got a couple pride things. I've got a portal tile where you kind of like orient which way is north. And when you have the portal gun in your possession and use it, you can flip and put this on any hex to make an orange and a blue connection across your board. So they engage and disengage connections, which can move who has longest road and stuff. It's very cool. And here are a couple more. These are some of the research hospitals, kind of like a city for my <laughs> medical response to the zombie invasions. Um, these are yellow roads. It's usually people don't play with yellow. I took them and modified them. These form the cordon sanitaire, so like a long road with settlements and cities and stuff, if you're doing it with Catan, would be placed and then a little jagged cordon sanitaire road there is separating the zombie infested from the, you know, quarantine off part of the world. So cool. Um, and more is coming soon. I can't wait to show everyone everything. Stay tuned. Follow my channel. Can't wait to tell you more.